Yo, what's up guys? My name is Toby. You're watching the Toby vs. World YouTube channel. And today is a different video. Today's video is going to be getting into to some topics about how to be an entrepreneur, what it's like to be a reseller, what are some things that can change your life, and why you should consider being... <laughs> Ultimately, guys, at the end of the day, being a reseller is truly about what you want for your life, what you want to do with how you make money, how do you want to be successful. All these things are going to go through your head. Um, the real problem for me is, is like identifying, like, hey, you know, I'm going to work. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm having to work a job. You know what I mean? I'm having to work for somebody else. I remember um, I had a new manager, and she asked me to clean the bottom of the trash can. And I just remember thinking to myself, you know, I'm never going to do this again. And so for me, to, to really understand what you're going to be successful in, you have to kind of identify the problem that's going on in your life. Like, what is the reason why you should become a reseller? Or, or what are the reason why you should become a doctor? Or whatever that reason is, you honestly have to look within. For me, it was I didn't want to work for someone else. I didn't want to have to get up and go do something I didn't want to do um, at that time to make money just to be able to survive. I didn't want to work to live to survive, if that makes any sense. So reselling was an avenue for me, and um, it's it, and it's something that I feel like it can change the world for many people. I know that uh, a lot of people don't know where to start. A lot of people don't know what it takes to become a reseller. But honestly, all it takes is believing in yourself. And so, if you take the problem, like what, find the reason for whatever way you make money, whatever, however you, whatever you're going through in your life, whatever the problem may be for you, whatever that issue is, um, reselling for me is what solved that problem. So it may not be reselling, it may be exercising, it may be working out, it may be doing things more, you know, with, with more intention, making sure you have a plan for your future. But ultimately, if you want to become a successful person, truly, it has to be within here, it has to be in here. It can't be, you know, you can't want to try to mimic somebody else. I'm not trying to mimic other people. I'm always going to be myself, I'm always going to be authentic. And if you do that, and you follow your goals, because I always tell people, this is a saying that I've, I've always went by, is that you only dream when you're asleep and when you're awake is when goals happen. So you, you have to write down goals and make things attainable, things that you can do every single day to make your goals become reality. Um, dreams, are for people who, dreams are for people who are sleeping and when you're sleeping, you're doing absolutely nothing. Um, so there's no way to achieve your goals by daydreaming, right? You have to be active, you have to believe in yourself. And so for me, I just wanna break down what that looks like. So every single day I have these um, I tell myself like like positive things that I need to know like po almost like an affirmation sort of thing and so whatever it takes for you whatever whatever you need to do to be successful it honestly comes with a, the positive mindset that being a person who believes in themselves uh, can overcome anything because at the end of the day the only people who are successful are the people who truly put in the hard work more than everyone else and believe in themselves so at the end of the day if you can look yourself in the mirror and you know you put in that hard work right you know you put in the hard work that it takes to be successful if you do that every single day if you do that for six months and you look back on where you were when you started you'll be so much more ahead if you're like okay I have a three-year plan I have a four-year plan and if you put that four-year plan into place right and you say, I need to do this four year, I need to do four years worth of progress right now in six months, right? You're gonna get a lot more done than you would in four years. It'd be just because if you give yourself four years, you're gonna take four years. So have the mentality that every single day you have to reach these goals, that you have to be successful and you have to believe in yourself. And at the end of the day, if you believe truly in what you're doing and you, and you are, um, if you're wholesome about it, if you're genuine, and you truly have a good heart and you have a good mindset and you have the right people around you and you're in the right environment and all these things I just named like this this and that like if this it, then that right you could always change your environment you could always change the people around you these are things that are not set in stone um, you could change your reality and so the, the video this the topic of this video really um, is me just really reaching out to anyone out there who has trouble like get not believing in himself or not knowing where to start I honestly had no idea what reselling was. I just walked into a thrift store, found a $5 Patagonia hoodie, or like a sweater pullover, and I sold it for 40, or was it 55, $45 the same day. I listed it. I didn't have enough money to even buy it. So we listed it. It was at Salvation Army, and I'll put a picture up of where it's at. And then I uh, went to Salvation Army, got this hoodie, took a picture of it, 
left the store, listed it on Macari the, the same day it sold for 55 bucks, went back, went the next day and got it, sold it. And that was my first experience of like, hey, um, like I really needed the money and I thought, hey, maybe this is worth more than $5, maybe I could try to sell it. I honestly didn't know what reselling was. I didn't know what could happen. And my origin story is really crazy because it was just around when Kobe Bryant passed away that I had just ordered a pallet of Kobe Bryant jerseys. And then about two weeks after, or two weeks before he passed, um, they got to my house like a couple of days after. Horrible news. And it ended up being to where those jerseys were, which were all Nike jerseys, they were the exact same. I ended up selling each jersey. I had about 40 of them for $150 each within a week. And as horrible as that sounds that I made profit off of somebody's death, I've never intended it to be that way. But that was my first wake up call to what it's like to sell an item and make money from it, if that makes any sense. So that kind of changed my perspective on working. I, I didn't, and I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying I'm proud that I made money off Kobe Bryant's death. I would never, I would never be that type of person. I'm, I never am that type of person. It just happened to work out to where I had these jerseys and they were, they were worth like $90 and I paid like 11 bucks for them. And then they went up to like 200, so I was selling them for 150, 130. It ended up being a lot of money for me and that changed my life. Because I was donating plasma, I had no car, I had none of these things. I was walking everywhere. I was doing, I was walking to the post office three hours a day, or three three miles a day, which took about an hour and a half to get there and back um, with my packages because I didn't even know what a USPS pickup was, you know? And so in my early days, guys, I really was out there grinding. And I, I will show you that if you truly just if you take anything from this video it is that you can honestly start whenever you want with whatever you want and the true definition of success is believing in yourself right people there's a saying that says fake it till you make it i feel like that's all bullshit at the end of the day if you believe in yourself it's not fake it till you make it because it's already true if i believed that i was going to be a super successful actor i'm already a su super successful actor like in my head, I believe that I'm going to be it. So it's already true, right? And some people say, well, no, you're telling yourself you believe it, so you'll hype yourself up. It's like, if you truly believe in yourself, like it was LeBron James when he was growing up thinking to himself, man, I, I want to be like Michael Jordan. If you told the ran a random person they they're going to be better than Michael Jordan, you would look at them and say, you're absolutely insane, right? So those people around you, you don't want, you want to cut the leeches out, cut the grass, see who the snakes are, get the evil people out of your life, people who take advantage of you, lie to you, try to throw you down and stuff like that. Get rid of all the toxicness, get rid of anything that's negative that drags you down and only focus on your goals and your dreams. And ultimately, at the end of the day, if you can look at yourself in the mirror every single day and say that you did what you needed to do to get closer to that to success, and you just need to keep replicating that and over and over and over again, and eventually you'll be successful. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll I kind of made it about reselling, but it was really more about being a person who does things with intent, wanting to better your life and better your future. If you guys want like content like this, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to hit subscribe as always. My name's Toby. You're watching the Toby vs. World YouTube channel. Peace. Prime, just on the brink of time When I was born, probably a wrinkle in time Got tell me down, said you divine Some of these girls ain't loyal, they play all the time Wait, so I got to protect my heart and my mind